Maritime Made on Eastlink TV is presented in partnership with Nova Scotia Business Inc. NovaScotiaBusiness.com. The Chronicle Herald printing press was shipped in over 40 containers from Switzerland and assembled on site. In fact, the building was completed after the massive press was assembled. Needless to say, a press like this is capable of some pretty impressive printing. Each page of the newspaper is laid out digitally in the Halifax office and is then sent electronically to the printing plant in Bedford, Nova Scotia. Here the press can produce up to 75,000 copies of the daily newspaper per hour. The first step of the process is to create the plates for the press. Plates consist of a thin aluminum that will be used to transfer the images to the blankets. Because the plates are photosensitive until they're used, the plate making process happens in a room with yellow light. Unexposed plates are sensitive to white light. One plate is created for each color for each page of the newspaper. The plates are first loaded onto the elevator table with a vacuum arm. A laser burns the image of the page onto an aluminum-based polymer coated plate. Then the plates are sent through the processor to be heated and developed. The plates are then rinsed in the wash tank to remove the polymer in all non-exposed areas of the plate and the finisher is applied. Then carried along a conveyor to be bent. Here the plate is lined up precisely with cameras. The edges are crimped and then punched for accurate loading later on the press. These plates must be used within 24 hours and can create up to 25,000 impressions on the press. To load the plates onto the press, the operator lifts a protective grill over the press cylinder and attaches the new plates to the precise location on the cylinder. Then locks them in place. Once in the printing press, the ink is transferred to the plates. The areas of the plate that have been exposed or contain the image for the page will hold the ink and then transfer to the blanket cylinder, where the paper runs between the cylinders and the image is transferred to the paper. Huge stacks of the various sizes of rolled paper are stored on site. about two to three weeks worth at any given time. Moving along a track system on the floor, the paper is moved to the real room. The paper is loaded onto a tray that moves up to the loading position. Loading pins move into place inside the roll and the paper is loaded onto the reel stand. Each roll weighs roughly one ton and is 16 kilometers long. A kite is used to thread the paper onto the press. This is called webbing the press. Ink is stored on site in color-coded tanks. Two large tanks for black ink and smaller tanks that hold the cyan, magenta, and yellow. Ink is pumped from the ink room and then transferred, one color at a time, from the blankets onto the paper. The colors are layered over each other to form a full color image. After each impression is printed, the printer paper runs through a series of rollers and belts quickly moving the paper up to the top of the superstructure where all the sheets come together. They go through the formers where the sheets are shaped in preparation for the folder. 
Once folded, it moves on to the cutter, where the sheets are cut and folded again. The basic print settings are sent to the press electronically. Press operators control all aspects of the press from the control console. The press operator checks the color registration and position of the impression on each page. At the control console, the levels of each ink color and water are carefully monitored and adjusted as needed throughout the print run. Once printed, cut and folded, the individual newspapers come out onto a conveyor system. Each newspaper is picked up by a gripper and transferred through the conveyor system to the packaging department, where inserts will be added. This is the fastest inserting equipment in North America. The newspapers are wound in one direction onto a disc at a rate of over 1,000 papers per minute. Then the disc is reloaded and the papers are unwound back into another conveyor system where they continue along the production line where flyers will be inserted inside each copy. The stacks of flyers are prepared by a team of workers. Each product is loaded into a feeder at the worker station and the stream of copies are created on the production line and fed into the inserting machine. The newspapers are also fed into the inserting machine that opens each paper, inserts a stack of flyers, and out come the stuffed copies back onto the conveyor belt to be prepared for distribution. The conveyor drops papers into a stacker, which creates the bundles. They are strapped and tagged with postal codes for delivery. A camera reads the barcode and directs the bundle to the appropriate bay for pickup. The Chronicle Herald printing plant has many redundant systems in place to ensure that you get your news no matter what. In addition to backup water, ink and paper supplies, they have an on-site power generator strong enough to power the entire plant for four days in the event of a power outage. 